Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. We're just doing whatever this week because the thing that I wanted to do last week has not fixed itself yet. So we're taking a look at Scarlet, the sexy sorceress that is actually what she's called, created by Flat on His Face. I ran her through a play-by-form game where I did a bunch of custom decks, which is why I've got her on Tabletop Simulator. You won't find her otherwise in any of the DLCs. She is a little overpowered, but that's okay because we're fighting Spite today. Plain, regular, vanilla Spite and our secret weapon is Voidguard Writhe. I'm going to tell you right now, his goal is to find Umbral Siphon and use it every round, because when he does that, Spite will not be able to heal, and theoretically, we should be able to kill him on his front side before he flips. Rounding out the team, we've got the brand new Wasteland Ronin the Stranger and a modified knife created by Adelphophage. We're fighting in the newly renovated FSC Continuance Wanderer, an environment that has undergone so many changes that I basically had to pull out the whole deck <laughs> to shuffle. Uh, we might, in fact, not see all the newly changed cards. Spite is starting with an innocent bystander. Like hell, we're going to save him. So, let's get down to it. On the prowl, destroy a victim. He heals nothing. Get another victim. Uh, that's, oh, that's a good Samaritan. He can fuck off. End of turn, play a card. On the prowl. Heals nothing, lost child, and then he hits knife for three. We might save that one. Yeah, and in fact, Stranger is going to take three damage and will save the lost child for all the good it's likely to do us. So, Stranger's new power is Mark of the Wasteland. Discard a rune. If you do, the Stranger deals a target for infernal damage. I don't want to be dealing damage just yet because we don't have Umbral Siphon out. So he's going to start with a Glyph of Innervation and use its power to draw two cards. Inauspicious start. So, interesting thing about Writhe, cards like Skiamaki do not work against Spite, because he just heals it off. Alright, I'm going to play that though. When Spite hits himself for 1 and 1 and heals 1 and 1, I can play an ongoing card, because he's still in place, so we'll put out an unnerving target, and then we get the Shadow Cloak, because I didn't really have anything else to do, and then he's got nothing to do with his power, but that's fine. Draw a card. Scarlet is going to start by playing Moon Silver Earrings. Before Scarlet would deal 5 or more non-melee damage, you may apply an Expert Knack. Before Scarlet would deal Lightning Damage, you may apply an Adept Knack, and it also gives her a power. She's actually a surprisingly complicated character. She requires lots of setup, but it doesn't take a lot of setup for her to become a disgusting damage dealer. Her main power is Wild Magic. Scarlet deals 1 target 2 energy damage. We're not going to be using that. We're going to play this floating wardrobe. Search your deck or trash for draconic wings and put it into play if you cannot draw a card. It is in fact in my hand and I'm not going to show it to you because this is a family show. Search your deck for an equipment card and put it into your hand. This is one of her ridiculously overpowered cards. Grab Moon Silver Anklets, shuffle my deck, and then I can play a card. Yeah, I'll go ahead and play those Moon Silver Anklets that I just pulled out of her deck. Before Scarlet would deal non-melee damage to the non-hero target with the highest HP, which is going to be Spite for most of this game, you may apply an Adept Knack. Before Scarlet would deal cold damage, you may apply two Novice Knacks. Draw a card. And next turn, maybe we'll see what the Knacks are. Okay, Knife has two changed cards. Flawless Execution, the first time each turn Knife destroys a target, she deals a target one melee damage. Not going to be very useful in this game. And overdo it. End of your turn, Knife may deal herself to Psychic Damage. If she takes damage this way, play a card, otherwise discard your hand, draw three cards, and destroy this card. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. She'll smack Spite for two for all the good it's going to do. Draw a card, and then let's see, did I get anything I want to play? Yes. She'll hit herself for two, and we'll play that Prototype Servo Gauntlet. So already Overdo It is a lot better than it used to be. FSC Continuance Wanderer. Temporal Reversal. When this card enters play, place one card in play from each other deck back on top of that deck. Interesting. Okay, that card is indestructible. In the environment turn, destroy this card. All right. Spite's turn. Good Samaritan. Forced entry. Oh boy. We'll just go ahead and destroy the lost child because who cares? He heals back to full. Then he hits knife for three and that's it. I'm going to play Glyph of Combustion and we'll go ahead and use his power. Let's see. Does that let him draw cards? Yeah, it does. Good. Drop this mark of the Bloodthorn. Hit Spite for four and draw a card. Might as well go ahead and play that unnerving target again and then just draw the one that I put on top of his deck. All right, let's go ahead and get some knacks out. Deep Freeze, ongoing sorcery knack. Novice, reduce damage dealt by any target that takes damage this way by one until the start of your next turn. Adept, prevent the next damage that would be dealt by one target takes damage this way. Expert, destroy an ongoing card. So we're going to go ahead and use Wild Magic, hit Spite for two. Let's see, I dealt non-melee damage to the non-hero target with the highest HP, so I can apply an Adept knack, prevent the next damage dealt by him. That's going to be helpful. Draw a card. All right, play another Overdo It. She will punch him for three. Draw the overdo it she put on top of her deck and then I think she's not gonna hit herself so she will discard her hand 
draw three different cards, and destroy that card. Interesting though. Oh good, she got some good stuff. FSC Continuance Wanderer. Time Freeze. This card is play, each player discards their hand and draws that many cards. God damn it, I just did that. That's fine. Writhe needs the card draws. And then we destroy that. Spite plays Mind Fire. Okay, so if anything lingers after the environment turn, it's not going to be an issue. End of turn. Plays Collateral Damage. Destroy a victim. He heals four. We prevent the damage that he deals at the end of turn, and then he hits everybody for nothing. Awesome. The old roads. I'm going to put that glyph that I started the game with back into my hand. Discard Mark of the Bloodthorn and hit him for four. Draw a card. Unquiet Knight. Let's go ahead and get rid of Collateral Damage. Shadow Cloak is in place so I can draw a card or play a card. I will play Conceal Assailant, and that gives him an actual power to use. Deal a target to melee damage. Bank. Draw a card. Philosophical Study. Draw three cards. <laughs> she has a lot of unique cards in her deck, so that kind of thing is important. And then we will go ahead and Wild Magic. Hit him for two. Prevent his next damage. Draw a card. Knife plays Primed Punch. Either way, she'll hit him for three. Not bad. Draw a card. We just need to burn him down before he gets his drugs out. Continuance Wanderer. Vortex Surge. Whenever a hero card is drawn, one player must discard a card. When another environment card is played, destroy this card. Well, we might as well just destroy it now. All right, Spite plays Innocent Bystander. And forced entry, there goes the instant bystander, he heals four. Prevent his damage, and then he destroys the vortex surge and hits everybody for one, except for writhe, so he heals three. Glyph of Decay, we'll go ahead and use the power on that. I will play Mark of the Twisted Shadow on knife, increasing her damage by one, and deal him one damage. Draw a card. Writhe has nothing to do, he's going to skip and draw two, because he needs that umbral siphon. God damn it. Well, that might help. All right, portable wardrobe. Going to search for draconic wings, put it into play because it's a my trash. Draconic wings says Scarlet is immune to melee damage. Reduce damage dealt to Scarlet by environment cards by one. I can search my deck for an equipment card and put it in my hand. Shuffle and then I can play a card. Channeling ley lines. Search your deck of trash for a sorcery card. Put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck if you searched it. At the end of this turn, increase damage dealt by Scarlet by one. You may play a card. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll find Wildfire. Shuffle my deck. Put it into play. Increase her damage by one, so this is another knack. Novice is draw a card. Adept is increased damage to Scarlet deals by two. Expert is increased the number of targets that Scarlet deals damage to by X. Reduce the number of damage Scarlet deals by X, where X equals any number. So, wild magic, I want to deal two energy damage. I can apply an Adept knack. Of course, I can just apply one. So, yeah, we'll just keep preventing his damage, because that's very, very helpful. Draw a card. All right, starter for turn, Prime Punch is going to go off. Steal a target four, five, six melee damage. Yowza. Energy Burn. Hit him for three and two, becomes four and three, then four melee damage. We might not need Umbral Siphon. <laughs> this isn't going so bad. All right, Continuance Wanderer. Superimposed Realities. Play this next to a hero. Whenever another hero would play a card, use a power, or draw a card, instead the hero next to this card does their respective action. Start the environment turn, destroy this card. It's unfortunate that we're not going to get to see that work, because I would put it on Writhe. We're going to say it's next to writhe on the off chance anybody gets to do anything. Doesn't matter. Spite, oh, has his damage reducer. And then he plays, oh no, compound 11. Prevent his next damage, destroy this card, he hits everybody but writhe for one and heals three. Okay, things are gonna get serious. That rune is free. Whispered signs. Do I have any runes in my trash? I do. Mark of the Twisted Shadow. Play a rune or glyph now. I will play Mark of the Twisted Shadow on Scarlet. And then we'll use Glyph of Decay. Play Mark of the Bone Leech on Knife, because she'll definitely need it. Draw a card. Oh right, he used a power, so two damage. He heals to five. Writhe, 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 writhe. Okay, Portable Dark Lab. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. One in your hand, one in your trash, one on the bottom of your deck, and then you may play the bottom card of your deck and destroy this card. None of those are useful. You know what? I just won't play the bottom card of his deck. I usually do that with Portable Dark Lab, but we won't. He's going to get hit for one. Spite hits himself for nothing. Discard the top five cards of his deck. Draw a card. Oh, that's useful. Thorn of the Rose. Scarlet deals a target to projectile damage. She hits him for one. We'll apply the Wildfire add up next. So she hits him for three. Increase damage dealt to any target that takes damage this way by one until the start of your next turn. Cool. Now she can hit him with her base power, do three damage, prevent his next damage. Oh yeah, which immediately is taken care of, and then we discard the top five cards of her deck. Draw a card. All right, Focusing Conduit Blade. She hits him for three, four, five, reduced to three. He hits her for two. For the first time in my life, I find myself thinking I could really use another Overdo It. All right, Continuance Wanderer. 
Prehistoric Behemoth. This card is immune to damage dealt by targets with less than 10 HP. In the environment turn, this deals the two targets with highest HP, two melee damage each. It hits Swipe for one, and it hits Scarlet for two. And then he's going to kill it, so it doesn't really matter. On the Prowl, nothing to destroy, so we get a good Samaritan and a lost child. Okay, now he hits Scarlet for three. All right, he should heal two. Heals three. He destroys the behemoth, hits everybody but Writhe for one, and heals three. And that's it. Stranger hits himself for one. So we'll play Glyph of Innervation. Use the power on that to draw a card. He gets hit for two, and discard the top five cards of his deck. Draw a card. We'll play another copy of Concealed Assailant, just in case. And then we'll use Portable Dark Lab again. Don't like any of those. All right, well, we'll put that on the bottom. That can go in his hand, that goes in the trash. We'll put this Portable Dark Lab on the bottom, and then destroy Portable Dark Lab to put it into play, so nothing changes, essentially. All right, and then he takes... Yeah, we'll prevent the damage. Discard the top five cards of his deck. Still have not found an Umbral Siphon. That's amazing. Draw a card. Okay, I'm going to play this Moon Silver Tiara. Before Scarlet would deal non-melee damage, you may play a Novice Nag. When Scarlet deals non-melee damage, Scarlet is immune to that type of damage until the start of your next turn. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? She didn't actually take that damage from the environment, because she's immune to it. Cool. Alright, Wild Magic. Base, 3 energy damage. I can apply an Adept and a Novice. Well, we'll prevent his next damage, so 3, 4, reduce to 2, reduce his next damage, and I can apply a Novice Knack. Oh, and I can reduce damage dealt by him by 1 until the start of my next turn. That's equally good. So he doesn't hit it for anything, but we discard the top 5 cards of her deck. Draw a card. Kinetic Neutralizer. 3, 4, 5 damage to Spite. Oh yeah, the plus 1 goes away. Reduce to 3. He hits back for 1, and heals 1, so that was worth it. Draw a card. Okay, do we want to play the top card of the villain deck? I kind of don't feel like we do. Paradox Intrusion. Then the environment turn this card deals the hero target the highest HP, 4 energy damage. That is Scarlet and she's immune. She's doubly immune. Then this card deals X villain targets 2 energy damage each, where X is the number of time vortex cards in the environment trash. I don't think there are any. Oh, no, there's one, but unfortunately, Spite soaks it, because he's a jerk. All right. Compound Upsilon, here we go. Guess it's a good thing I nerfed his damage for a round. Then he plays Innocent Bystander. We might start rescuing victims at this point. Okay, he hits the highest for three. That'll be Scarlet, because she dealt energy damage, so she's immune to it, because she's really overpowered. Um, and then he destroys the environment card, hits everybody for two psychic damage. He hits himself and heals it back off. He heals seven. That sucks. Okay, all of his runes are free at the moment. Unweave. I got four runes in my trash. Binding, breaking, breaking, and quickening. Going back into his deck, and he heals four because cripes. Discard a rune, hit him for two. He hits back for two. That was almost not worth it. Now that basically was not worth it. Five cards off his deck. Draw a card. Darkly Dreaming, hit him for a grand total of one. I will not destroy the Shadow Cloak. Portable Dark Lab. God damn it. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll destroy the Portable Dark Lab and put this Nowhere to Hide into play. Ride deals a target for irreducible damage. That's cool. Damage dealt to him is irreducible until the start of my turn. I can use a power. Concealed Assailant, hit him for two. And then I'm going to drop a card for the first hit. He gets hit for one, so he heals one. And we discard ten cards off the top of his deck, which means shuffle the deck. Ugh! I can't believe this is not working. That said, we're not doing too bad. Okay, start of her turn. Let's see. She's going to discard two cards. We'll save this innocent bystander. Mystic Aptitude. So we need more Nax. All right, Wild Magic. Two, three, irreducible. Gonna play a novice and an adept. Unfortunately, I kind of have to keep it with the deep freeze. So hit him for three, reduce his damage, prevent his next damage. He hits her for nothing. Discard five cards. Draw a card. Foof. Primed punch. Now things are getting fun. One and one becomes two and two, becomes three and three, becomes four and four. Oh yeah, she heals one. She should have healed one for last round. He hits back for two, heals two, discard five. Yeah, buddy. Okay, Continuance Wanderer, doing nothing. Temporal Acceleration. Oh boy, when this card is played, play the top card of the villain deck, then play the top card of each hero deck in turn order. At the end of the environment turn, destroy this card. Cool. Demon's Kiss. He's gonna flip. Oh my god. Okay, Mark of Destruction. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it next to that because, yeah, that's not gonna help. Nowhere to hide. Hit him for three, four. I can use a power. Hit him for two. And then he takes nothing and discard five. Scarlet's Diary. At the start of your turn, you may put a card from the top of your deck under this card. They have no effect. When this card leaves play, put all cards under it into your hand. Power destroy this card. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. 
but okay. Oh, Amplified Combatant. One melee and one energy. So one and one, two and two, three and three, four and four. Hey, you know, it's fine. So that is destroyed. Destroys the Mark of Destruction, which, oh yeah, means the Glyph of Combustion goes off. I can hit him for one. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, start of his turn, he flips. Destroy all villain cards in play other than drugs and his villain character card. And he flipped, so he deals himself X toxic damage where X is the number of cards on this card times five. So that's five, six, five, three. Eh, could be worse. And then we have to put two cards back in our hands. Scarlet's Diary can go, and this Concealed Assailant can go. Excellent. So he deals each hero target other than the hero target with the lowest HP, one projectile damage. So that's everybody but Stranger. She dealt projectile damage. She's immune to it. Oh yeah, it's actually just one. One. one soaks it nothing he's not healing anymore then he deals everybody one psychic damage right soaks it and then he deals everybody one infernal damage right soaks it i have a good feeling about this game despite the fact that things are not going the way i wanted them to okay stranger deals himself no damage yeah let's do mark of binding reduce his damage by a further one and probably just keep him from doing anything ever again sounds good power drop a rune hit him for four irreducible he hits back for one discard five cards okay i might as well fight and fade hit him for three reduce to one because it's no longer irreducible got nothing left to find play darkly dreaming hit him for three and then use concealed assailant hit him for two he hits back for oh nothing discard five and draw a card moon silver bracelets that sounds like a great idea before scarlet would deal non-melee damage you may apply a novice knack before scarlet would deal fire damage you may apply an adept knack i can at this point hit him with an adept and two novice knacks all right so three damage for a base Oh yeah, it's got the power to deal a target zero energy damage. Don't know why you would do that. Three damage as the base will prevent his next damage, reduce his damage dealt by one, and one player can discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. That'll be Writhe. I mean, he kind of doesn't need to, but getting Umbral Siphon would still be pretty cool, so he draws three. Nope, didn't work. She hits him three, reduced to one. She's immune to energy damage. He doesn't hit her. Discard five cards, which means we shuffle, draw a card. And his minus one is still there. Okay, knife. Four melee, five melee, six, seven melee damage, reduced to five. How terrible. Primed punch. Oh yeah, she heals one. One and one, two and two, three and three, four and four. He hits her for two. No, he hits her for one. Discard five. Draw a card. Okay, Continuance Wanderer. This is your last chance. Temporal Slipstream. Play this card next to a hero. That hero skips their turns and targets their player immune damage. Start the environment turn, destroy this card. So basically, one player is just out of the game for a round, except it doesn't matter because he's going to destroy it. So, start of turn. Two cards back in hand. Yeah, let's return one of the runes and unnerving target because it's not doing anything. Then he hits everybody but Stranger for nothing. Then he destroys this and hits everybody for nothing. Then he hits everybody for nothing. We've got this locked down. Stranger deals himself no damage. Hell, I don't even care. Whispered Signs, draw two cards. I won't bother playing a rune. I will discard this Mark of the Bone Leech. Hit him for two. Could be better. He hits back for one. Discard five. Oh, time to shuffle. Draw a card. Oh, Writhe plays erratic form. And then we'll use Concealed Assailant. Hit him for two melee, two infernal, and two psychic damage. And he's dead. That was not the way I wanted the game to go, but it actually kind of worked. And I'll be honest, I have only just scratched the surface of what Scarlet can do. What else did she have here? Electric Storm. Scarlet deals a target one lightning and one energy damage. Fire Storm. Scarlet deals a target one fire damage. Increase the damage dealt in this way by one for each knack applied to this effect. Zap. Draw a card. Scarlet deals a target one energy damage. Moon Silver Necklace. Before Scarlet would deal non-melee damage, you may do any of the following. Discard a card to apply a novice knack. Discard two cards to apply an adept knack. Or discard three cards to apply an expert knack. Or up to six to do all of it. Scarlet's Diary we saw. Frost Storm. Scarlet deals each non-hero target one cold damage. Take a look through her deck. Like I said, she's got a lot of cards. Mastery of Flame. Oh, I didn't see any of these. Increased damage dealt to Scarlet by villain targets by one. Nasty. Each target dealt fire damage from Scarlet takes one fire damage at the start of each turn until they are dealt non-fire damage or take no fire damage in a turn. That's confusing and hard to keep track of. Before Scarlet would deal energy damage, you may change that type to fire. Mastery of Electricity. Increased damage dealt to Scarlet by villain targets by one. Increased lightning damage dealt by Scarlet by two. Before Scarlet would deal energy damage, you may change that type to lightning. Luminescent Beauty. The first time Scarlet would be dealt damage by each target each turn, the hero with the second lowest HP may redirect that damage to themselves. Potentially useful, potentially not. Unrestrained possibility to destroy all non-target environment cards. There's a reason I didn't play this. Scarlet deals up to X targets two melee damage each and herself X melee damage where X is the number of 
of cards destroyed this way. So that's why all of her stuff does not work with melee. I should mention I have no idea where the art comes from, mostly because I can't see the bottom of the cards because of the way that Tabletop Simulator works on my laptop. Mastery of Ice. Increased damage dealt to Scarlet by villain targets by one. After Scarlet deals cold damage to a target, if that target has four or fewer HP, destroy that target. That's ridiculous. And before she would deal energy damage, you may change the type to cold. Innervation. Novice. After Scarlet deals damage to any targets, one of those targets takes two melee damage. I don't know how it takes that, but there you go. Adept. Until the start of your next turn, increase damage of this type by one. Ooh, just all damage. Expert. Reveal the top two cards of a deck. Discard it or replace those cards. Electrify. Novice. Increase damage Scarlet deals by one. Adept. Increase the number of targets that Scarlet deals damage to by one. Expert. You may redirect the next damage that will be dealt by each target that takes damage this way. And that's her deck. Let's take a look at the Continuance Wanderer. I mean, we didn't get to see it do a whole lot. Temporal Reset. When this card is play destroy all other environment cards, then shuffle two cards from each trash pile back into the deck, and each non-character target regains HHP. Then the environment turn destroy this card. This is a much improved card because it used to be destroy everything thing and that really sucks. I mean, look at how many things I have in play. I don't want to get rid of that. Heart of the Wanderer. When this card enters play, reveal the top card of each deck in turn order and either discard or replace it. The environment turn destroy this card. And like I said, I can't remember which ones have changed and which ones haven't. Vortex Glitch. Players may not play one shots. When another environment card enters play, destroy this card. Vortex Interference. Whenever a hero uses a power, destroy one hero ongoing or equipment card. That's rough. Combat Cyborg. Reduce damage dealt to environment targets by two. Rough. Then the environment turn this card deals a non-environment target with the lowest HP to projectile damage. That's the whole thing. So yeah, the Continuance Wanderer has been changed a lot. It's greatly improved in my opinion. Scarlet is ridiculously overpowered. Admittedly, if she's dealing with a lot of destruction every round, then she's not going to be able to hit those heights of, oh, I can just deal two damage and a whole bunch of extra effects. But there you go. Thanks for watching. As always, Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels and Cauldron DLC, and Adelphi's Archives are not licensed creating against products. Please support the official release and flip.